episode number 27 of the BK Lounge. It is early morning, Saturday morning. And you know what's on my mind? This fucking yodeling kid. I've had it. Alan, good job. Congratulations, you killed it. You took him out back behind the barn, and you killed him. He's dead now. Except, he's not. I mean, it is, as a meme. The boy, the boy, the boy's doing well for himself. Congratulations. You made it to Coachella. The boy was at Coachella. Lil Hank Williams. Go away. You're a one hit wonder, yodeling boy. You hear me? I'm an official hater now. I like the memes. There are some good ones. A lot of good ones. But you know what? You got to go. Not worse than you got in Knuckles. That was the worst meme of all time. I hate it, and I'll forever hate it. It sucked but you know what there's a lot better ones very good criticism right I know Uh, how are you guys good morning had to get that little shit off my chest a little stuffy a little stuffy in this morning ooh this is important Billionaire bids almost nine hundred million dollars, eight ninety, to help save Toys R Us. Now we're talking. All right, hold on. I gotta brush, brush my blow my nose. Blow my nose. <sighs> Sorry about that. And I apologize in advance because that probably won't be the last one. Good times. All right, let me read this little article. This little article here. Billionaire Isaac Larian, the toy marketer whose lineup includes little tykes and Bratz dolls, offered to save part of Toys R Us from liquidation with an almost $900 million bid for stores in the U.S. and Canada. Larian would pay $675 million and $215 million for outlets in Canada. They should have said uh, in parentheses in U.S. after the $675 million. He said Friday in a statement the funds will come from Larian himself and bank financing, including UBS Group AG and Bank of America Corp. Larian told Bloomberg in an email statement. Uh, the would-be rescuer in chief is the executive producer uh, Executive Officer of MGA Entertainment, which sells toys, including LOL Surprise and Baby Born. Larian previously started a GoFundMe campaign to help keep Toys R Us open, with the page now showing pledges of $200 million from Larian and other investors, and an additional $58,998 from various public contributions. Great. I added that great part. The crowdfunding was meant to bring community awareness to the effort of saving Toys R Us, he said via email. We are financing this from personal funds as well as bank financing. I, I got that. Was it, will it work, though? Will it work? Oh, okay. Should Larian win the auction, his bid would need approval from a bankruptcy judge and could face opposition from lenders if the value fail, falls below rival bids from firms bent on liquidating the retailer. Who's the fucking Grinch that wants to end Toys R Us, personally? Who, who's out there trying to just choke out the Toys R Us with their own two hands? Huh. Well, it is what it is. But I just, I just feel bad for future generations who don't get to go to Toys R Us. It's that simple. It was a great time. Got a lot of badass shit. And it was just cool. It was cool. It was a good time. 
Mark Sanchez suspended. Oh, excuse me. Mark Sanchez suspended four games for violating NFL's PED policy. Well, he needed to do steroids. He sucks. That's what happens when he suck. You got to do steroids. Uh. Syria. Good luck catching these bombs. Apparently. All right, cool. This is actually a very slow news week. Not long at all. Which, I don't know, maybe it's the calm before the storm. That's what I'm guessing. Or, maybe actually not a lot is happening. Or, I don't notice it. Excuse me. <coughs> God damn. Blew my fucking lungs out. Jesus Christ, my brain just came through my face. Ow. Let's look at this. Look on Twitter for a couple hashtags. Trends for you. Sign, hashtag signs you are in a horror movie. Oh, let me think of something. So I don't want to get... I don't want to steal anybody's, obviously. But I'm not going to read them. Hold on. Another tissue. Tissue time! I just did a very smart thing. I turned the microphone around when I did that. But I forgot it records all around my microphone. The whole thing. I'm what's known as a, a genius to some. But uh, let's get back to that. If you're in a horror movie. Well, not a lot of horror movies take place in the day. I think it was like Jeepers Creepers. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And, oh, It. That's what was uh, so surprising about this the last It movie. Is like they would do shit during, during the day. Pennywise, he's a bold motherfucker. I mean, he's also a puss because he just like. He's kind of stealthy. Like, who he, he, he lets seize him. I fucking dug that movie. I can't wait for the sequel. Number two is going to be so rad. So rad. Hold on. Water time. Nice. Ooh, water. It's like water. Uh, and, uh, what else about it? Well, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> but there's no way you can go back to Tim Curry's original miniseries. That's the words I'm looking for. After watching uh, this movie, it's just it's just too good. And that's I, I'm a little nervous. Like when I'm 50. What are movies going to look like? How good are they going to be? That, like, my favorite movies now are going to suck. They're going to look like shit. Although, I was kind of, yeah, because that's how, how it always is. Because, like, first you had your shit ass, like, black and white, but worse than black and white. Because Casablanca kind of things, and... Oh, To Kill a Mockingbird. I I love that movie. So that's a little different. If something's real good, it just beats it beats all odds. You know what I mean? But things like uh, Charlie Chaplin movies, uh, you know, comedy Hitler. Uh, he uh, the way they film movies sucked. They sucked. Shoft? Oh no, they they were just bad. And look at things today. Uh oh, boy needs a charger. Ooh, that guy's gonna catch some hate for that tweet.
You know what song's in my head now? That yodeling fucking song. What is it? I, hold on, I forget what it's called. I'm looking up the lyrics. And gonna blow my nose. Oh yeah, Lovesick Blues. Let's read out some of these shit-ass lyrics. I mean, it, it's probably not that, that bad. Alright. I got a feeling. Call the blues. Oh lord, since my baby said goodbye. Lord, I don't know what I'll do. All I'll do is sit and sigh. Oh Lord. That last long day she said goodbye. Well Lord, I thought I would cry. She'll do me, she'll do you. She's got that kind of loving. Lord, I love to hear her when she calls me sweet daddy. <laughs> oh, it's irresistible. It's, it was really hard to fight that whole song. I really wanted to just yodel through that whole thing. Oh. Wow. Why does this kid know this shit? He shouldn't be knowing that. He's just a... I don't know. He's a fucking kid. I mean, people are pop. People pop, for sure. Get some news in this piece. Huh? Some news. Give me some news. Boy wants his news. <laughs> well, that's great. Good times. Let me tell you a little something about me. And today, or tomorrow, I'm not too sure. I think it's today. Oh, I'm making potato candy. That's going to be a a fun time. I don't know how that's going to work out. How do I make it? How do I even make it? Alright, don't turn off on me, you fuck. How the fuck do I make potato candy? And uh, we're putting Nutella, Nutella in it. So, it'll probably be the shit. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be goddamn delicious. Goddamn delicious. I didn't even know you don't bake it. How dope is that? How goddamn dope is that? Only four ingredients. It's that's amazing. All right, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna pause it real quick, just so uh, I can do some things. So I live in uh, 
in the Northeast. I'm pretty sure you guys know. Uh, it is finally starting to get beautiful. I'm looking out my windows right now. And God damn. It is like birds chirping. Like this is what this is what God wanted. Finally. Jesus Christ. I've been living in this this uh, ice age for a little while. I can finally feel my toes again. The flowers are starting to grow out out in the front of my house. Beautiful. Good times. I'm glad. Now all I'm waiting for. When's the snow? I know it's coming, you fuck. Just drop it on me. Alright, I'm tired of waiting. I know it's happened. I know I know it's gotta happen. I know how this game is played. Alright. You can't live in Pennsylvania without s- snowing every week. I know it's gonna happen. Maybe that was an exaggeration. Our summers are summers. We get heat waves. For sure. But it's not that f- far around the corner for some snow to just be like harsh. Goddamn harsh. It is what it is, though. All right, back to the news. Pure news. Those that newsy news. That good news. Yeah. Should I go Google News? Nah, fuck Google. You hear me, Google? Fuck you. What am I talking? Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. I'm saying I drew a little blank. She do me, she do you, she got fuck. Alrighty. Incognito, not retiring. Cool. Good. Although now that's in your head, you're definitely a changed man. In Pennsylvania, open season on undocumented undocumented immigrants. Uh oh, what does that mean? What does that entail for my a Mexican brethren? Quaker Town, PA. From the time they first flirted at a party, Anne and Ludvin Franco were inseparable. Did not matter that Anne was a waitress was. Pennsylvania Dutch going back generations while living a cook had grown up in the scrublands of eastern Guatemala. Okay, fair enough. It was a little presumptuous to assume that everybody undocumented would be from Mexico, but I just figured it would be the easiest way to get over to America, right? And so it's right there. You know what? I'm not doing that shit. I'm going to do my Spanish lessons. I haven't done that in a while on the podcast. We'll see what I can get. Uh, it's getting, it's getting, it's starting to crank up a little bit. Should I do phrases or basics? Phrases or basics number two. I did food and animals, but I'm on the one, so it's that's still easy. I'm gonna do basics. Las niñas escriben. The girls write. It says Las niñas escriben. That's the girls write. Correct. Correct Amundo. She is a person. Ella es una persona. Hell yeah. The newspaper. How do I say the newspaper? Oh. So, El Diario. I almost said this real. Diario. Man, I'm Ellos just falling out. Ellos lean libros. They read books. Man, I'm just kicking this shit's ass. Correct. Nosotros leemos un libro. Nosotros leemos un libro. We read 
We read a book. Damn, ballin'. I skipped that one. I don't like the ones because there's certain ones where it's like um, you have to t talk into it, and they sometimes they just don't get you, or I'm afraid they don't. They won't get you anyways. Yo leo el libro. I wrote a book. Wait, no, Leo's. I I read again still. I read the book. It's the book before I get this wrong. Hell yeah. <laughs> he said it again. He read a book. Fuck, it's reads. God damn it, it's my first one wrong. Do you read books? Tu lees libros? Correct. Nosotros leemos diarios. We read newspapers cool the person la persona la mujer la niña I think I got this wrong last time though okay no I'm good ella es una persona she is a person. Ella es una perro. Perra. Él lee un libro. He, this one's the one I got wrong. He reads, reads a book. God damn it. Hey. I guess they completed their first out of three lessons for the day. Me. Jo. Cool. So I have. Well, I'm just gonna finish doing the basics, and then I'll, that'll be actually a full lesson. Um. Come on. No thanks. Eos. Oh shit. They. They are, they, they, oh fuck, ellos es bebes, ellos somos bebes, ellos son bebes, ellos soy, so it's they, well soy, cause soy is am, like I am, so that's not it, they, it, son, it's gotta be son, hell yeah, hell yeah, ustedes somos mujeres? You... What is Somos? I can't remember. We are. Okay. Ustedes son mujeres. That's you are. But we are Somos. El, he, she, we is... El... Ella... Nosotros. Nosotros. Nosotras bebemos leche. We drink milk. Nosotras bebemos leche. So we drink milk. God damn, this shit hurts my Nosotros brain sometimes. Nosotros bebemos leche. Nosotros bebemos leche. But this one has question marks. Do we drink milk? That's the question. Correct. Nosotras somos niñas. We are girls. We are children is also another correct solution, but yes, they gave it to me. Sick. We are men. Nosotros somos hombres. Nosotros son hombres. Correct. Ustedes son hombres. They are, you are, I guess it's son. Okay. Ustedes son hombres. You are men. Ustedes son hombres. Fucking act like it. Ustedes, you are men. You are mans. 
you are a woman. Tú son mujer, son mujer. Ustedes son mujer. Mujeres? Oh, it's women. Yeah. Uh, somos hombres. Oh, yeah, nosotros somos hombres. Hey, that's the next lesson. In the past. Good shit. One more. And then that's the Spanish for this little guy. Alright. The women drink water. La mujeres bebes agua. Or is it beben? Uh oh. Las mujeres. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Trouble in River City. I'm gonna check my notes. What do we got? Uh, shit. Well, I'm just gonna have to go out on a limb. It is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta be bold. Uh, fuck. Oh, God damn it. Baby. Agua. Damn it. Should've been baby. Nosotras, ellas. We. They. Killing it. We. Are children. I'm going to say children. Sick. Nosotras somos niñas. We are, we are children again? Or girls? I'm going to say we are girls. Okay, could have been either or. Los niños beben leche. Cool. He, they, she, they. Cool. Las mujeres beben agua. Las mujeres beben agua. The women drink water. The boys drink milk. Los niños beben leche. The boys, the boys, drank milk. Yeah. So the the blank drinks milk. Okay, that's what that is. Ellas son mujeres. They are women. And there it is. There's my lessons. Seven days streak going on. I've been doing this shit for like three weeks though. I missed two days. One on purpose, one not. I didn't want to, obviously, but it is what it is. Cool. Well, perfect timing. Because I'm going to be giving you the songs in a hot second. And we can just go on to a new topic. Great. Alright, let me get those songs ready. And we'll get this shit on the road. Alright. 
Good times, bad times, doesn't matter. Making this shit happen. We got five songs for the episode number 27. 27, chugging along. Let's just get right into it. Number one, we got a little jam from the police. Every breath you take. That is a, it's a, good, it's a good song. What does that sound? Okay. Uh, number two. I did not try to do this, but I just noticed. Untitled number two, Kendrick Lamar. A little funny. Because it's number two. You get it? Ha 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 ha. I know, hilarious. Uh, that's a jam, too. I just listened to it because it was in my head. Um, number three. Yeah, a little banger action. The Devil is a Lie. Rick Ross and Jay-Z. Very horn-laden. Um, another big, brassy, soulful uh, song from Rick Ross. Kind of old. 2015, 2014. Uh, number four. We got Lose, Travis Scott. I'm going to put that in the banger because I'm pretty sure it was like all bangers that album. Because he has shit to lose. You know what I mean? He's got shit to lose. Number five. Uh, banger. Banger on banger. Uh, all of the lights. Kanye West. One of his best songs ever. Highly regarded. Feel me? I feel me. Alright, good times. Let's just read through that one more time. Every Breath You Take, The Police. Untitled number two, Kendrick Lamar. Uh, the Devil Is A Lie. Rick Ross, Jay-Z. Luz, Travis Scott. All of the lights, Kanye West. Great. You hear that shit? Get the fuck out. Huey Lewis cancels all twenty four all twenty eighteen performances due to hearing loss. That sucks. Oh, I saw this picture of like um the little rascals grown up. That f that what is that kid's name? You're killing me, Smalls, like that kid. That dude looks like the same person. It is freaky. I'm gonna look that up right now. Something real weird about it. Oh no, no, not not the little rascals, the Sandlot. I'm dumb. Sorry for everybody who had to sit through that. Um, little rascals, the Sandlot. very weird that this just the same face the same guy what the what the fuck scared the shit out of me Sometimes. Great. One guy's ugly as hell. I just don't know what happened to him. Oh, nope. Bad times. One guy's fucking jacked. Oh my god, this is the you're killing me, smallest kid. He's just sitting between. There's just a picture of him sitting between two girls, and it is. That is that is pure gold. That's hilarious. I don't know why I find it so funny. But it's hilarious. Wow, yeah, it's that this nerdy little kid from the movie. Grew up to be. Fucking ugly. 
Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. He's always had a terrible hairline, apparently. That must suck to grow up in front of people like that. But it is what it is. Alright, fantastic. Boxer taunts Mexican opponent with border wall shorts. Promptly pays for it. Let me see these. Oh, shit says America first. With bricks all over. Corner stops in corner after round six. And Vargas with no cuts. Goddamn. Hmm. I mean, it wasn't wrong, though. America should come first. America's the best. Well, like, I love when people get asked this question because they don't really know how to answer it. If you didn't live in America, where else would you live? Hmm. Exactly. And on that note, I might wrap it up. I might have Nish come on later today, but for now I'm going to say this is the end of it, but I might add on, so if there's more audio, keep listening and uh, enjoy, but as of right now, this is the intended end for episode number 27 of the BK Lounge, the biggest podcast in the world. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Go into the description, follow everything. Subscribe, like, all that kind of good shit. You know what I mean? Thank you. I appreciate it. Immensely. Alright. Peace.